I am Dr. Swarchala, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. There are some concerns regarding relationship between exercise supplements, those that are designed to help build muscle and male fertility. Anabolic steroids can cause a decline in sperm count. Let's look at how. In some countries, anabolic steroids are restricted medicines and can only be dispensed by pharmacists to those with a prescription. However, many of you will be aware that these are often taken by those looking to improve their athletic performance and build muscle mass. There are a number of serious side effects from this including addiction, increased risk of prostate cancer, and erectile dysfunction. One of the main side effects men suffer from when taking anabolic steroids is a decline in sperm count which can result also no sperms being produced. This is reversible depending on the level that has been taken. It can take years to solve. It is strongly advised that you do not continue to take anabolic steroids if you are wanting to start your own family. Let's look at the effect of pre-workout supplements and caffeine on fertility. Usually, these are designed to provide a boost of energy. This is basically to get you ready for high intensity workouts and these supplements are often very high in caffeine. Studies have shown caffeine can impair male reproductive function, maybe through DNA damage inside the sperm head. Clinical studies suggest that caffeine intake can be associated with double strand DNA breakage, which is called as DNA fragmentation. Caffeine is also associated with sperm aneuploidy. The presence of an abnormal number of chromosomes in a cell is called as aneuploidy. For example, a human cell having 45 or 47 chromosomes instead of the usual 46 is termed as aneuploidy. Sperms with high rate of aneuploidy have a negative impact on pregnancy rate and are associated with recurrent pregnancy loss. So if you are trying to conceive, it is probably best to avoid any caffeine where possible. And remember, caffeine is not just present in your pre-workout supplement. You should also consider cutting down your intake of caffeinated drinks such as teas, coffees, caffeinated soft drinks and try to stop completely wherever possible. So if you just cannot function without your morning coffee, try to reduce in stages. Start by cutting down, lowering the dose to once a day, preferably only taking caffeinated drinks in the morning. Then you can start to half caffeinated and eventually shift to totally decaffeinated drinks. Protein shakes also is something that we should talk about. Some of you may be thinking, I don't use steroids, I only use supplements with protein powder. So how can it be relevant for me? Firstly, very little additional protein is required for even heavy demanding training so the need for them is actually questionable these protein shakes may be contaminated with anabolic steroids studies in early 2000s showed us that around 15 percent of these supplements that were purchased from many different countries contain undeclared anabolic steroids this percentage is extremely concerning especially when you consider potential effects that can have an impact on your health and well-being this is why you are advised to avoid using protein shakes or powder supplementation when you are trying to have a baby. So what are fertility friendly alternatives to these protein powders? Many people who take these protein shakes to help uh, supplement their diet, they do it because they believe that they need more protein uh, to feel healthy and to get good results from their hard work at the gym. But it's not necessarily a high protein intake, but the healthiest source of protein that is necessary, which can help you in bodybuilding and repair the body cells and it's best sourced from natural food. So there are a number of high protein fruits can be an alternative, can provide necessary protein to help you build or repair muscle mass such as eggs, lean meat, cheese, yogurt, fish, pulses, quinoa also, nuts. So finding ways to incorporate these items into your diet will help you get best results that you are seeking in the gym without compromising your fertility. So it's very easy to supplement your body with the naturally sourced proteins than these artificial proteins. If you wish to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.